Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Today we're going to be looking at the 6-2 Aura Secrets. If you want to look at the video with all the keynotes of the 6-2, that'll be in the description. So what have we got in the 6-2? We have the role model and we have the natural. We have this interesting mix of a being that is here to stand in their own integrity while at the same time having a foot in the natural world and the childlike world. So when you're thinking about the aura, one of the things to understand about the second line is that the second line just wants to be left alone to do their own thing. They want to be living in their own bubble. They're not interested in something that other people may think is important. If they're not interested in it, they're not interested in it and they will close off from it. In the same way that if you, if you push the second line, they will also close off. They don't like being pushed. They are self-motivated. Now, at the same time, you've got all these people looking into the second line saying, you'd be good at this, you'd be good at that. And, you know, they don't want to be shown. I mean, the first line and the second line are very, very different. The first line is investigative. It wants to go into, wants to test things. The second line doesn't want to be tested. It doesn't, don't, it doesn't want to be tested. You know, you say that I'm good at this. What happens? I go on the stage and I, and I make an idiot of myself, you know, because I don't know how I do what I do. It's just natural. So there is this shyness that is within them. At the same time, they really have a, an incredible radiance that comes out, which you can see when they're just being natural, when they're being playful, when they're being, them, they're being just sometimes silly. You know, that's part of it. Um, it's, it's, it's wanting to be free in that way, free to just be left alone, to be childlike, to be to, to potter around in that and potter around in this, and they don't want to be told they should do this or should do that. It's it's much more of the body is just there to wait for the right call, to wait for the right call, to be motivated to do something. And then we have the shyness becoming bold, we have the missionary coming out, we have this in, incredible naturalness that that just um, brings us something precious, basically. Um, I always think of the second line as having a certain um, spiritual quality, and I could say a lot more about it, but the main thing is for this brief part, I want you to think of them as, as people that like to live in their own bubble, that like to live in their own world. And the other thing to remember about the second line is that they, they really like things easy and simple, making things simple. They don't want to overcomplicate things. They don't want to um, have anything too over affected. You know, it spoils the naturalness. It spoils the ease. The second line, it really wants to um, move through their lives, being them, um, and they don't want any undue complications. So that's something to that's something also to remember about them. Now you put that next to a conscious personality that is here to be a role model, which means what? It means they have to be integrous in themselves. It means there is a always going to be a certain separation between them and other people because they have to be integrous in themselves. And this is the mutative quality of the role model. They can identify with their leadership in being a six line, because after all, that is what they're here to be. They're here to lead by example, by their integrity. But it's a long term maturing process with a six line. So when you're talking about how the six line is embodied in the aura of someone, it depends what age they're at. To some degree, to some degree, um, we think about six lines going through their their trial and error process, their 
making mistake process there their their early time up until saturn up until the saturn return around 30. so there will be the trust issues there will be them trying to be perfect too early because the version of perfection will be what they what they like around them that they think is perfect very different from standing alone as yourself as a one-off as a role model of yourself in your own integrity so they have to go through this process from a deeply subjective time to the objective time in the middle period on the roof where there's this aloofness where they begin to consider what they want to get into and what they don't want to get into hopefully using strategy and authority but i want to really talk about the essence of it and the essence of it is is in standing in your own integrity it also means that they have to say no to restrictive commitments and to things that will draw them into something that is not them they don't like that you know so so it's quite often the separation comes up with them looking at you and going hmm we'll see you know it's like it, it's not a given that they're going to do what you expect them to do they are after all unique designed to be uh, uniquely themselves um i'll give you I'll give you an example so i remember i remember um, meeting a 62 in norway my first journey to norway this was maybe i don't know 15 years ago or so and i arrive at the airport um and i haven't had a confirming email that anyone's going to meet me but i assume i give them the time that they're going to be there so i wait and i wait and i wait and nothing's happening you know no one comes up i'm i'm the last one there i'm sitting i'm sitting on a chair there's no one around and yeah i'm a one three uh manifesting generator uh doesn't like hanging around active body so i go get myself a taxi and it's a long ride and uh much longer ride than i thought i did i had the address but i didn't know exactly i didn't know where it was i didn't know how far it was uh, i had to actually do a deal with the taxi man in terms of a human design reading in order to make up the fare because it was very expensive anyway a bit of an adventure i get to the door and there is this this tall woman meets me at the door and it's a six two don't know that at the time six two triple split and i said well hi richard you know i've, I've arrived and she goes what are you doing here uh well there was no one at the airport so i made my own way here how did you get here you know and it was like she was really quite disturbed that i turned up and it was cold outside and i actually wondered if she was gonna let me in it was like what are you doing here what are you doing here um this is what i mean by standing in their own uh beingness you know and separate from others in some way um so yeah it's, it was an interesting my my example of meeting a 62 in that way um they really are um themselves even through the early at certain points in the early stage as well there is this coming back to their own um their own sense of rightness about what's right in the world but also what's right for them and whether they're going to engage or not whether if they've engaged in something well maybe it doesn't work for them anymore you know they can stand in their own authority in that way as well there will be with the sex the sixth line are they you know are they going to get involved with something and and do you see that they are different do you see them as a one-off and that's something that you see much more as they as they mature and they get to let's say they go through Chiron where the sixth line really can mature there's a quite a lot will happen at that time um it's it's like this is the time that all six lines have been waiting for when they can actually flower in their own right they've uh, they've stopped all the perfection game and realized one way or another that perfection is them being themselves and it really is about being oneself um and just being and the second line just just being self-motivated 
it's like this you've got to see there is a um there's a kind of tranquility in the sixth line they can get to when they don't have to do anything but be and in some way that is part of the perfection so when people try to push them to do this or to do that or whatever it may be it's like well does it resonate with who they are as a integrous human being uh, in their own right because they've been through the stage of being a hypocrite of saying you know do this but they don't do it you know all six lines will go through especially in the early stages meeting their own hypocrisy of trying to stand by what is uh, perceived to be um, a really good thing but then they don't have any motivation to do it themselves so um, it's a very different thing when you get to the mature six two I have a lot of six twos in my life one way or another, and I've learned from all of them. There is a ongoing discerning process from subjectivity to objectivity to the transcendent stage in Chiron. Um, and they have, you know, dismissed a lot of things that are not for them. And they've come to where they are. They're not, now they might not know where they're going, um, they, but they know what they don't, where they don't want to go. There is this childlike nature, as I've said, that is also with them. And children like to be left alone to, to play their own games and get into their own imagination, whatever it is. And yet when you're with a 6'2", old, uh, who's older, and they're standing by themselves, there is this, sometimes they like it if if, if someone will come along and see the child in them as well and maybe just put put their arm around them you know without saying anything letting them be so they can be them and the other person can be them but it's also nice to to have that um it's almost like there's a part of them that wants to be looked after at a certain level but on their conditions um and i'm kind of i mean i'm talking generically because we're talking just about the profile I can't go into the detail without seeing the different charts, but I think all six twos will recognize that um, that side of them that appreciates someone standing with them, especially if it's uh, in, in uncertain times or in uncertain situations. Um, remember the second line is just natural. They they can have the rug pulled out from under them when there's something they're not aware of that, that turns out. Then it's like, the, you know, what are we going to do now? You know, this is a real disturbance, hadn't expected it. So it's a, kind, it's a kind of a natural balance, you know. So they want to stand in their own integrity. They want to be themselves. They want to live themselves. They want to just be without any pretense. And that's really the end game or the journey to the end game so that other people can see that they are standing in their own truth and, and it helps the rest of us stand in our truth. Um, six twos are very valuable to all of us in, in many ways. And I appreciate it when I see them um, living in their own bubble, being themselves. There's nothing better really. I mean, there is nothing better than, than seeing that. There's nothing to improve, there's nothing to change. It is just the way it is. And as usual, please like, share and um, subscribe to this channel and I will bring you more. All right. Thank you. Bye for now.